Now, let's go back to why we are negotiating and not why we are in the battlefield. That is because the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, track one in the report, has decided that the best way to solve the Bangsamoro problem is a negotiated political settlement, not in the battlefield. And that is where Madame Arroyo went to Malaysia, invited former Prime Minister Mahathir to allow him a tender of good offices, meaning to say facilitation. And that is why, yes, three minutes, uh, Malaysia is involved in this peace process. I would like to say that in the end, in the end, the Moro GRP, I will stick to GRP because GOP sounds like the American party, grand old party, whereas GRP is very clear, government of the Republic of the Philippines. Now, the issue really is how to balance the right to self-determination and the exercise of sovereignty. Now, it took me a while to bring you to this point. In short, the solution to this problem is political, not military. Otherwise, mag-ubusan tayo ng lahi. Mag-ubusan tayo ng lahi because hindi kami dayuhon sa aming sariling lupa. Kayo, mga Pilipino, saan kayo nung kami lumaban sa mga dayuhan na tunay? Now, if we want to have a nation, then we have to share the sovereignty issue. The sovereignty that we earned from the Sultanate to where it is now must be recognized, whether it is in the Constitution or whether it is in a treaty relation, we will claim that from the Filipino people before we can say, we, the people. I am being very blunt because our culture and religion is not respected. When Abu Bakr was attacked, men in uniform brought lichon. Very, very humiliating. So there is that element of humiliation. So how can it be a humanitarian situation? Think about the respect for the very essence of our own being, of being Muslims and of being citizens of this country. Last point, just be diligent, because it's not every day. In fact, be thankful that I came. Really, be thankful that I came. The question that has to be discussed also is the point that there should be a new formula. It cannot be that the unitary status quo, unitary system, which is the status quo, be made acceptable to the Bangsamoro people. We no longer want this kind of system. And the burden, the onus, is on the side of the government and the opposition. And we would like to see the government and the opposition 
work out a national policy, national agenda in negotiating with the Bangsa Moro people as represented by the Moro Islamic Liberation Front. With respect to the M MNLF, well, they have a standing uh, uh, 1996 uh, agreement, whether it is fully implemented or not, uh, that is something else. I am sorry that the time is very limited and I wish that the discussion were really round table rather than this kind of discussion. Thank oh. you very much for listening to me. Thank you very much, Dr. Mastura.